Bismillah Rahman Rahim Assalamu Alaikum Dears In this video we will be explaining different characters in the play Blood Wedding by Federico Lorca The first character, the bridegroom who is a young man whose family has long enmity and feud with the members of the Felix family because the Felix family murdered his father and brother and now he is the only man left in his family his mother is always worried about his safety because his mother is unable to forget the incident of her husband and her firstborn baby. She is unable to forget what the Felix family did to their loved ones. This tends to annoy the bridegroom who clearly wants to focus on the future instead of the past. He wants to live in the, in the present. He wants to marry to a beautiful lady the bride who is living nearby their house. He is always angry with his mother attitude because his mother is always thinking about the past and she is always worried whenever he wants to go out of his house. He is also unaware of the bride's relationship with Leonardo. Leonardo is the only male member left in the Felix family. Some years back Leonardo and the bride had a relationship, love relationship but the bride rejected Leonardo because he was poor and Leonardo married to the cousin of the bride. Now the bridegroom is unaware aware of all these things. He is very much happy that he has selected a beautiful lady as his wife. Unfortunately, the bride is still in love with Leonardo despite the fact that she originally ended their relationship because he wasn't rich. The bridegroom on the other hand is quite affluent on account of his family prosperous vineyard which he now tends. Proud of his ability to care for the bride, he is completely oblivious to her happiness. He does not know she is happy or not. Although in the whole play, the bride is not happy. She is sad because she has had rejected Leonardo in the past and she has realized that she cannot live without his love. The bridegroom is unable to recognize this point in his wife. Because of his ignorance, he is caught by surprise when the bride eludes with Leonardo during the wedding reception. Suddenly, enraged, he follows them into the woods and refuses to turn around, citing his family history with the Felix is the reason he must find Leonardo and takes his revenge. And this revenge blinds him. He wants to kill Leonardo. He wants to take revenge of his family. And now when his wife has eloped with him, he is he got much angry with the situation. Although this search for Leonardo will not change anything in his life. The bride will still not love him. But he is blind by revenge. He is violent and thus in the end, he searches the Leonardo and both of these male members of the two families, they die in the end. The bride character is a very interesting character. It is psychologically very interesting because on one hand, the bride is sad. She had rejected Leonardo and now she has realized that she cannot live without his love. But she tries to avoid this sadness. She does not want to show this sadness to the people. She is the only daughter of a person who lives on a dry, largely infertile land. Even though she is about to marry the bridegroom, the bride is sad. Unlike everybody around her, she is unimpressed by all that the bridegroom will be able to give her. Feeling excited by the prospect of gaining his prosperous vineyard. In keeping with this, she is also unmoved by the gifts his mother, her mother-in-law gave her. This is because she is in love with Leonardo. She and Leonardo used to be in a love relationship but she refused to marry him because she knew he wouldn't be able to financially provide for her. Choosing what seemed like the responsible rational option, she broke off their romance and so he ended up marrying her cousin. However, Leonardo recognized his ex-lover discontent, his sadness on her wedding day. When he comes to her home before the other guests and makes it clear that he has profound effect on the bride who tries to remain committed to the bridegroom but finds herself deeply affected by the mere sound of Leonardo's voice because of their love.
she goes to the bridegroom and insists they hurry the wedding along thinking that solidifying their marriage their marriage will keep her from succumbing to her true desires this of course is a grave miscalculation because she ends up eloping with leonardo she run away with leonardo she is unable to resist the emotional intensity of love inside her mind and inside her heart when the bridegroom and leonardo later kill each other and as a result of this situation the bride goes to the bridegroom's mother's house and tries to explain herself though she ends up simply asking to mourn alongside the old woman the mother of the bridegroom is another major character in this play she always remains sad because the felix family murder her husband and has her son and the bridegroom is always unhappy with this attitude of his mother because she always remain anxious about the safety of her son and she does not allow her son to go out of the house because she thinks that the same will happen to the bridegroom as a result she frequently curses knives and the person who invented them in addition to all other weapons because she think these weapons are used to kill people to kill human beings these thoughts are never far from the old ma- woman's mind although she although she took interest in the marriage of her son she goes to the bride's house she fixes the marriage but like the bridegroom and the bride's father she is unable to see the sadness on the bride's face she thinks that the bride will be happy and is happy with the marriage although it was not the case she is also aware of the fact that The bride and Leonardo had a relationship in the past but she decides not to tell her son this ultimately wanting to preserve the happiness of her son though this unfortunately makes it even easier for him to overlook the fact that the bride is still in love with Leonardo when the bridegroom's mother meets the bride's father both parents are delighted by the transactional marriage of the uh, nature of the wedding seeing it first and foremost is a union that will bring children and riches this perhaps is why none of them recognize the bride's discontent with the marriage the mother and the father both they are very selfish we also know that the mother is supposedly so averse to violence she is but she quickly starts encouraging this violent revenge when she comes to know that leonardo and the bride elope later when the bridegroom dies the old woman feels oddly liberated from all the sorrows she is now free she is now free from worrying about his son because there is no one left to worry about in her life another character leonardo felix who is the true lover of the bride and who was the only member left in the felix family because he was Eight years old when Felix family murdered the bride's groom, father and brother. That's why he was not in prison. He was rejected by the bride because he was poor in the past, and then he married to the cousin of the bride. But he still loves the bride, and the bride also loves him. Although the bride does not want to show this love feelings to anybody, even to Leonardo. but leonardo knows that she is unhappy with the marriage we also know that leonardo has no feeling for his wife that's why he shamelessly lies to her and his mother in law about the fact that he has been riding his horse to the bride's house at night to stand out outside her window when the bride's wedding day finally comes around leonardo makes sure to ride ahead to the other guest so that he is the first to arrive thereby catching the bride by surprise and telling her in front of the servant that he still has feeling for her as he talks to her the mere sound of his voice erodes the bride's will power but the servant sends him away before anything can happen between the two former lovers after the wedding ceremony though the bride breaks down and elopes with leonardo riding off with him into the dark woods when they are running away from the bridegroom and other wedding guests leonardo and the bride decide that, that only death will separate them and this is exactly what happens as leonardo and the bridegroom soon kill each other and this is how leonardo meets his death
The bride's father, a widower whose wife never loved him, he now, he now lives on an isolated stretch of dry land with his daughter, a plot of earth. He is immensely proud of having punished in order to grow healthy calves of Esparto. When the bridegroom mother meets him for the first time, he speaks lovingly about his farm and praises her prosperous vineyard. When he wishes he could put right next to his own light so that both properties could be one. In alignment with this, he also hopes that the bride and the bridegroom have many boys so that he can benefit from the children unpaid labor in the field. So he is very selfish, focused solely on the financial and material benefits of his daughter's marriage. He fails to recognize her happiness just like the mother and the bridegroom. As a result, he is blind sided by her elopement with Leonardo and thus slow to react, apparently not doing anything until the bridegroom's mother entreats him to rally his side of the family to chase after the escaped lovers. These are some of the major characters in the play The Blood Wedding. Thank you so much for watching.